smart stent is little metal scaffolding which is used to hold a section of artery open that was narrowed before. A stent can be life-saving for someone who's experiencing a heart attack. A heart attack is where an artery that supplies the heart muscle with blood is blocked by cholesterol or a blood clot. Stents are also used to improve blood flow in patients suffering from chest pain, what's often called angina or breathlessness. We use balloons and then stents to open a section of artery that was narrowed or blocked. Firstly, a tiny wire is passed through the narrowing or blockage. Then a balloon is passed along that wire to create a passageway to deliver the stent. The balloon is removed and then the stent, which is squashed down onto its own balloon, is then slid along the wire to where the narrowing was. The balloon underneath the stent is expanded, which pushes the stent onto the wall of the artery. Once the balloon is deflated, the stent stays in position in the artery and holds the artery open. The balloon and the wire are then removed. Stents restore blood flow to the heart muscle, allowing oxygen and nutrients to be delivered to the heart muscle cells. This can heal damaged muscle in the heart attack situation or prevent a heart attack before it happens. Stents also relieve chest pain, also called angina or breathlessness. The metal in a stent will last forever. Once placed, stents do not move and they cannot be removed by a doctor or a surgeon. After a while, the body grows over the stent, a process we call endothelialization. Whilst this is happening, you will be asked to take blood thinners. After this process, many patients can reduce or sometimes even stop altogether the blood thinners that they take. Occasionally, the body regrows too much scar tissue inside the stent, a process we call instent restenosis. This happens in approximately 5% of patients. Of course, nothing is guaranteed, but the vast majority of patients get instant relief from their symptoms after a heart stent. Most people stay in hospital overnight and then go home the next day, unless they've had a heart attack, in which case they would be asked to stay longer. You can expect to be on blood thinners for a period of time after a stent, which is often about six months. Your doctor will advise you in your individual circumstance. Also after a stent, you can't drive for two days, or up to two weeks if you've had a heart attack. You will have a bruise in the wrist or at the top of the leg, which will slowly get better. Any procedure or surgery carries risk. The risk of something bad happening with this procedure is less than 1%, but includes the risk of causing a heart attack or causing a stroke. Extremely rarely, there's a risk of needing emergency open heart surgery. I often point out, however, that if you need a stent, but you didn't have one, your risk of something bad happening in the next year, such as a heart attack, would be higher than 1%. If you have any questions or medical concerns, please ask your doctor.